So the question, can you work remotely for a Canadian employer and get a TRV? And so there's a number of things that we'll have to make assumptions about if this is the question. So one is we're assuming then that this person is outside Canada and is not yet does not yet have any status inside of Canada. And working remotely for a Canadian employer, as long as it is purely you are physically located outside of Canada, you're not entering the Canadian labor market, but you've got to be sure that you're not entering the Canadian labor market. And so this is one thing, Mark, maybe you can flip over to um, a little bit of the program guidance in terms of the operational instructions and guidelines. And this is what immigration officers look at to see, well, is this person working without authorization in Canada? Because the general rule is that everybody must have a work permit in order to enter the Canadian labor market. But, um, and this is the definition of work under regulation two, so it's very, very broad. Anything for which commissions are paid or wages are paid or commission is earned, or that you're competing directly against a Canadian citizen or permanent resident and you're entering the Canadian labor market. And it gives some examples, wages or commission, what's an activity that competes directly. So, you know, are you doing something that is taking a job away from a Canadian that a Canadian would normally be doing within the workforce? Is it competitive in the marketplace? And they give some examples of what is work. So self-employment could constitute a competitive activity. Um, unpaid employment. So a lot of times people say, well, I'll just come volunteer. But if you're volunteering to complete a job that that a Canadian employer would normally have to pay a Canadian to do, then it's not technically volunteering. It's considered work for immigration purposes. Then it goes into some types of activities that are not considered to be work. So to answer the question, if you're working from outside Canada for a Canadian company, is it considered work um, if you're doing long distance work? And so if you look down at that third bullet point, for sure it's not considered work if you're doing long distance by telephone or internet work done by a temporary resident whose employer is outside Canada and who, who is remunerated from outside Canada. But that's not the situation here, right? So you get a little bit more into a gray zone if you are doing long distance work for a Canadian employer, and especially if you're also getting paid in Canadian currency into a Canadian bank account. So that is getting into the gray zone of it. An officer might consider it work in some circumstances. Normally, if you're physically outside of Canada and you are not stepping foot inside the country, then often people are not, are not doing work. They're not entering the Canadian labor market. But the question in this case is, can you now get a TRV? Can you come to Canada and get a visitor's visa if you've been working remotely for a Canadian company? And of course, we know that to get a temporary residence visa or a visitor visa, you've got to show temporary intent and you've got to show that you're complying with the conditions of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act. And the usual rule is that a visitor to Canada is not allowed to work for any sort of Canadian company. We saw the definition of work. We saw what's entering the Canadian labor market. So that's where the rubber hits the road is you've got to be completely honest in terms of what you have been doing. If an officer is asking you questions about that, then you've got to respond truthfully. If there is any indication that you're going to be coming into Canada to work, then you have to apply for a work permit. And most of the time, the Canadian company has to have obtained a labor market impact assessment, an LMIA, before somebody can apply for a work permit. And most of the time, they have to apply from outside Canada for that work permit supported by the LMIA. Now, I'm going to throw an additional little twist on you, Alicia. You know, we've got a lot of questions that revolve around express entry. And mm -hmm. so one of the things people ask is, if I'm working remotely for that Canadian employer, I'm outside of Canada, can I count that work experience towards express entry? No. And the answer is in the ministerial instructions. So if we look at the definition of Canadian work experience, it's clear that that Canadian work experience has to have been completed or earned or gained while you were working for a Canadian company inside of Canada. And so things with the pandemic have really changed the way a lot of people are working. But hopefully they were still working somewhere physically inside of Canada while they were completing that. If they've left Canada and gone back to their home country, then they are not able to claim that period of time for Canadian Express entry points for Canadian work. So they'll have to take a look at how many hours, how many weeks they have been working in Canada 
no more than 30 hours, add that up over the term of um, a year or two years, depending on whether you've been working full-time or part-time, and you've got to get to that 1,560 hours. All right. Well, there we go. So that is the question of the day.